I'm so grateful for Rick Green and everything that he has done through the Patriot Academy, through Constitution Alive, through the biblical citizenship classes, because that's not taught in our schools anymore. I barely learned what the three branches of government were, and now our children are being taught to hate their fellow classmates because of their gender, the color of their skin. What's up, everybody? Major Retire Richard Ojeda here. And did Lauren Boebert just admit that she didn't know there were three branches of government? Delivering remarks at what looked like a WWE cage match in Ted Nugent County, Texas, Colorado's Clanny Oakley stood next to a golden shovel and looked right at home spreading manure to a hometown crowd of 10-gallon hats that were gathered. The bowling alley queen rambled on about children not having God in the classroom anymore. She made an idiotic claim that children are hating on each other in classrooms over things like gender and religion. She wants her audience to believe there is a crisis of faith going on across America. She conveniently forgot to take credit for the Republican Party's legislative attack on the LGBTQ community in state houses all across the country. She also failed to mention that she has voted against children on numerous occasions. Bobert is a do as I say not as I do Jacqueline, just like her favorite ex-president. Speaking about the orange chicken, he was asked about his face on a, re a faith of on a recent episode of The Clash Report. I was uh, born uh, into a family where my father was religious, my mother was religious. Uh, I wouldn't say they were, you know, going to church every single day, but sure. they were, you know, they were believers and, and strong believers. Uh, I went to Sunday school, uh, which was good and which was expected you know right. it was like you everybody goes to That's Sunday right. school the interview went round in circles in typical Trump fashion he didn't even mention Jesus or the scriptures once just that his parents were very religious and he had to go to Sunday school trying to picture that little menace in church is an absolute joke he might as well just said that he practices the kind of religion where you don't ever go to church, but instead you play golf on Sundays. I'm the most religious leader in the history of the world. Also, you can grab women by the private parts. So faith is very important to me. Donald Trump is an absolute joke. Furthermore, I will direct the Department of Justice to pursue federal civil rights cases against schools that continue to engage in racial discrimination and schools that persist in explicit unlawful discrimination under the guise of equity will not only have their endowments taxed, but through budget reconciliation, I will advance a measure to have them fined up to the entire amount of their endowment. The tangerine tyrant wasn't done, though. He released a confusing campaign ad threatening the endowments of schools that participate in racial discrimination. Trump, the same guy who called white supremacists very fine people and has instructed groups like the Proud Boys to stand back and stand by, is trying to pretend that he's not a racist now. According to Article 6, Section 3, the Constitution of the United States, no religious test shall ever be required as a qualification to any office or public trust under the United States. It's a damn shame that we can't have an IQ test for jackaloons like Lauren Boebert and Donald Trump. As far as the separation of church and state, FDR expressed it clearly. The public schools shall be free from sectarian influences and, above all, free from any attitude of hostility to the adherence of any particular creed. Boebert and Trump are treasonous worms, and that is an absolute fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.